The guys from the hunter safety system love to hunt. Usually you can find them somewhere in a tree stand chasing whitetails. But when they got the chance to head to South Dakota after pronghorn, they couldn't resist. Jerry Widener and Jim Barta have been hunting buddies since they were kids back in Michigan. These days they still hunt together, but not just in their home state anymore. You know, Mike, it was probably the most unique hunt I ever went on. It was uh, Dakota Ranch Outfitters out in South Dakota, a man named Fred that invited us out. We originally were going to go whitetail hunting, but he called ahead of time and said, you know, you might want to grab your antelope license before you come out. And they're both archery? Yes. So the guys stopped at a local sporting goods store to take care of business. But they couldn't resist a little sightseeing after that. Then more road time before meeting up with their guide, who told them about his way of bow hunting for pronghorn. Well, I started hunting antelope probably about uh, oh, close to 15 years ago, and I tried it for seven years and I had no success at all. I tried spot and stock. Uh, I tried sitting over water holes. I tried decoys and nothing worked, and, and I was getting discouraged. And after seven years, I was thinking to myself, you know, I've wasted entirely too much time, it can't be done. And, and uh, we was gathering cattle that fall and I, was, I, I, I seen a bunch of our horses and there was antelope in amongst them. Mm -hmm. And I thought, man, you know, I'll bet you that might work. Anybody watching this show right now, I would venture to say that you're an experienced hunter. You've been hunting, you know about it, you watch these shows for the entertainment value. We do learn something from time to time because I know I do. But this particular hunt is unlike any hunt you've ever been on. Most bow hunters ambush antelope over water holes. Here they stalk them with a little help from their horses. We took these antelope, Mike, with a bow by walking up to them, starting at probably five, 600 yards away, walking up to that animal and shooting them with a bow. I shot mine at 25 yards. The most unbelievable thing you can think of because you can't get close to an antelope. They're unlike a lot of other animals where if you've got distance between you and them, they'll allow a certain amount of distance. An antelope, there, there's no range of distance that they're going to allow. We top the hill at 700 yards, they're gone. So knowing that and understanding that that animal is that wily and yet we're going to walk up to them and shoot them with a bow was something I couldn't comprehend until we actually did it. We got behind his horses. He had two horses. Uh, he, the reason he used two, when he does it by himself, he does it with one. But he used two horses because we had three people. We got the cameraman, the hunter, and the guide. Well, when you top the hill, which again, we're probably six, seven hundred yards away, you're behind the horse, the horses, and the antelopes are there, and they're wild. They're looking. And he says, now we've got to hold this for probably 15 to 20 minutes. Let those antelopes get acclimated to the fact that there are some horses on the hillside now. And you're looking at that and thinking, acclimated? We're, we're 700 yards away here. And he says, yeah, but you've got to let them ease. Now he's watching them through binoculars and he will finally tell you, okay, it's now time to go. Okay, don't guide the guy, get going. If you go in right away real fast or too fast, uh, they get a little flighty and then they're on edge all the time. You got to, from a far distance away, let the antelope see you, let all of them see you, let them all get comfortable with you, and then even at that point, you can't just walk in on them. You got to watch them. Uh, if they're looking at you, if you see one that may be a little flighty, you just got to stop and just wait till that animal's calm, you know, or has calmed down. And at no point do you walk at the antelope. You always keep a perpendicular angle to the antelope themselves and you back and forth until you're finally working your way in. Now, we stopped several times. He was making decisions constantly as we were going. I'm listening, I'm paying attention because I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm gonna just do what he tells me. And we, after six to 700 yards, got within 25 yards he tells me, go ahead, draw your bow. Don't shoot my horse, but draw your bow. I'm on one knee, and as I'm at one knee completely drawn, he walks the horse away. And there's my antelope, 25 yards.
Jerry was shooting into a pretty good crosswind, and because of that, he got a marginal shot on that animal. But they were able to sneak up on him again and get the job done. Uh, <laughs> That's him, buddy. That is him. Look at this. Jay's Outdoor Magazine with Mike Avery is brought to you in part by Winchester Ammunition.